Hello everyone, welcome back to Sydney and Starlight, and if you are new here, welcome, welcome, enjoy the here we are. videos. So today, me and Sydney are going to be reading another five minute princess story from this book. So let's begin. Today we are going to be reading Beauty and the Beast, Belle and the Castle Puppy. So, we've read all this, and now we are on page 33. Beauty and the Beast, Belle and the Castle Puppy. Belle was strolling through the castle garden one chilly spring day when she heard a whimpering sound. A puppy was huddled outside the castle gates. He looked cold and dirty. Oh, you poor thing, Belle cried. Let's get you warmed up and fed. She wrapped the puppy in her red cloak and hurried to the castle. Belle and the enchanted objects gave the puppy a bath. The coat rack brought a towel. When, she was, when he was clean and dry, the puppy ate a bowl of warm stew. He's so cute. I hope you can keep him, Chip the teacup exclaimed. All the enchanted objects were happy to have a guest. But the ottoman remembered when he had been a real dog, just like the puppy. What if Belle and the Beast liked this dog better? The ottoman tried to get the princess's attention. With a funny little grrr, he raced around the kitchen, but no one noticed. A moment later, the puppy barked at the door. Do you want to go out and play? Belle asked. As Belle and the others followed the puppy outside, they didn't see the ottoman slink out behind them and walk in a different direction. They laughed as Belle threw sticks for the puppy to fetch. The beast walked up to Belle a while later. Someone has dug up my roses, he exclaimed. Then the beast saw the puppy. Did that dog ruin my garden? Get rid of him, now, the beast roared as he stomped away. A moment later, the ottoman ran past Belle and the others. His legs were muddy. The ottoman dug up the garden, Belle exclaimed. But why? asked Lumi Lumiere, the candle drum. Candle, candelabrum. As Belle watched the ottoman chase after the beast, she suddenly understood. Oh, poor little guy, she said. It just wanted some attention too. Suddenly, the puppy raced after the ottoman, barking playfully. They both disappeared among the trees. What if they don't catch up to the beast? They'll get lost, Belle exclaimed. I have to bring them back safely. But it's getting dark, Mrs. Potts protested. Belle looked at the long shadows creeping through the forest. Clutching her cloak tightly, she took a deep breath and started toward the trees. Wait, Lumiere called to Belle. I'll come and light your way. Thank you, Belle said as she picked up the candle, candelabrum. I'm glad you're coming. Me too, I think, Lumiere replied, but his flames flickered nervously. Belle walked along a path. She had come this way before. Puppy, Ottoman, she, she called. She hoped that they had met up with the beast. She was looking forward to returning to the castle. A moment later, something wrestled in the bushes. What is that? Lumiere whispered. I hope it's just squirrels, Belle answered. It must be a very big squirrels, Lumiere replied. Belle picked up a large stick. Then she and Lumiere walked on, calling for the puppy and the ottoman. Belle realized that the puppy and ottoman had gotten lost. She was determined to find them. A short while later, Belle heard loud barking. I think we found them, Lumiere exclaimed. Belle followed the sound until she came into a clearing. The ottoman and puppy stood under an enormous tree. The puppy was 
growling and barking loudly. What's wrong? Belle wondered aloud. Then she looked around and gasped. A large wolf was sitting nearby. The puppy is protecting the ottoman. Lumiere exclaimed. He's too small to stop that wolf for long. Belle said, "He needs help." Quickly, Belle put Lumiere on the ground and lit the sticks she had been carrying. She ran toward the wolf, swinging it. "Get away! Get away!" she shouted. But the wolf didn't move. Just then, the beast showed up. The wolf ran away, yelping with fear. The puppy tried to save the ottoman. Belle told the beast, "They are brave little fellows." The beast answered, cradling the puppy in one arm and the ottoman in the other. He led Belle to the castle. Later that night, everyone settled by the fireplace. Belle watched the beast stroke the ottoman and feed biscuits to the puppy. May the puppy stay until I find him a home? She asked. The beast cleared his throat. His home is here, with us," he answered gruffly. Belle smiled. She was glad that the beast had come around. The very next day, the beast presented the puppy and the ottoman with shiny badges. From now on, they would be the official protectors of the house. Yip yip woof woof. They couldn't have been more excited. The is. The end. So that is it for today's story, everyone. We really hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Get your favorite page. Character, beast. That's not beast. That's bell. Can you say bell? Bell. Bell. Okay. Goodbye. Bag. Bell.